Copper Man to Occupy Atlanta, at Troy Davis Park. We out here fixing the food for the people, uh, trying to make sure when somebody come through that's hungry, have something to eat. We are standing against the injustice of America. The one percenters, they got all the money and the rest of the people are suffering, such as that man behind you with the cart. They're here for him. They're here for, they're here for that man. Digging in the garbage can, trying to find something to eat. I try to make sure food is on the table every day so somebody can have something to eat. We also stand against lobbyism and our capitalism and greed and injustice. Times are too hard for people to be treated the way uh, we have too many people in the streets. I just got an uh, altercation with the ambassadors, which knocked my tube loose, about putting up a, a donation sign for the homeless, because Christmas time was coming up. I wanted to have enough clothes and food for the homeless. But he said it was against the law to put a sign up. And he grabbed me around my collar like a little girl like a little rag dog, just start swinging me around. Knock my tube loose. I can't hardly stand the cold, but I'm still out here trying to make it happen. Uh, we have a lot of people out here with a lot of issues. We're just trying to do the best we can with what we got. We really need the support of the people to come by and bring their donations to Woodward Park, down on Peachtree Street, which we renamed it Troy Davis Park. Like I said, my name is Copper. I'm just a 31-year crack recovering addict. After 31 years of crack cocaine, after I came to Occupy Atlanta, no more crack in my life. That's amazing to me. That's like, that's like they helped me get my life back. They helped me get my, they helped me get my dignity back. They helped me be a part of, and I became an activist. It kept me so busy of helping other people, trying to make sure a person got socks, trying to make, make sure a person got shoes, a blanket, a shirt. I stayed so busy, I didn't even pay attention to time. Before I knew it, three weeks had went by, and I was still here on the yard, no crack in my life. When I finally asked the question how long I've been here, it was three weeks that went by, and it seemed like yesterday. So becoming an activist is really important to have a spiritual foundation, because we don't cry, we don't lie, we just occupy. Well, you get you get many people from uh, different backgrounds. Uh, so some are homeless, just as well as there are home people here. Uh, like I said, many people come from different backgrounds with different different stories, different things that they are trying to fix. So we're all here as one. We brought with uh, you know my drives for foreclosed homes. I have families suffering through uh, losing their homes. And, you know, dealing with that, it's brought me to the Occupy, and I'm pretty sure with everyone else, it's a different story. But, you know, when, when you want to stand up and fight something, it brings people together. I mean, that come and go brings us here. So, what's your personal story? Um, I'm a high school graduate. i uh, done some college. Shelters here are not geared to help people get on their feet unless they drug related or mentally unstable the, the people out here like me that don't have no drug problem don't have no mental problem but we've just had something happen in our life that brought us out here they 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 don't want to talk to us they don't want to help us they want to help the mentally unstable and and the, dr and the druggies and I, I I think that we all need help not just one set of person. Everybody needs help. Everybody that's out here on these streets needs help. We all need help. And if it's just helping us get into school, if it's just helping us get an apartment, just something to help us get on our feet. You know, that's what we need. And if Occupy Atlanta can do that, then I'm behind them 100%.